and welcome to your market update charts of the day for today the 4th of may 2023 mike smith senior analyst at go markets here to lead you around what's happening in markets today of course overnight we had a negative session on wall street fed chairman jerome powell uh, commented that inflation is unlikely to come down soon that dampened early enthusiasm on the indication that there is likely to be a pause in rate rises my guess is what the market was pricing in was perhaps the possibility of a rate drop towards the back end of the year that seems to have been put on hold for right now so we had the 0.25 percent hike we had regional banks subsequently coming under pressure we've obviously got further earnings to come today and the weekly jobs data we'll talk about in a moment u.s futures were negative in early trading in asia but managed to uh, at this stage uh, make the way back near neutral asian markets are lower in early trading asx was down 0.75 percent soon after open but has managed to regain most of those losses but financial stocks are a major drag on the index down about 2.5 percent in the sector gold stocks were up plus plus on the back of a big move on gold last night but that seems to have disappeared to some degree as the day has progressed uh, european markets pointing to a cautious open if we look at the futures and the vix is above 18 month lows still us dollar index dropped overnight which was positive for gold surged high again it's currently sitting about 2040 after near getting to 2100 but have to wait and see in terms of whether that was just a brief profit take or whether that is uh, signs of perhaps that's enough for now so it's retested february highs essentially uh, copper held 385 support we're seeing some strength in asia uh, and all drops and is testing mid-march lows bitcoin remains within that 27 to 30,000 range. US earnings continue. Australian trade balance numbers were better than expected. Chinese PMI number was a bit soft. Later on, we've got UK, German, and Eurozone services PMI. Got the ECB rate decision, of course. US weekly jobs due later. A couple of charts at Core RI today. Evolution Mining looking very strong today. You can see that big pop up uh, in the gold space, of course. Uh, we breached that previous high that was hit. Uh, early april if we put this on a weekly chart you can see this is a very positive move and could see us up as high as 475 in the short term that from today's price would be around about an 11 percent move up so that's what it's showing on the weekly chart and back onto the daily chart you can see we're trading towards the highs of the session one certainly worth having a look at and seems to be the outperformer in that sector on the fx from we're sort of interested in the aussie yen you can see we had that big down move yesterday a continuation of the previous day's move downwards a slight retracement and then a continuation down to this s1 level at 89.46 in early trading today flattened and now we're seeing a bit of a bounce we see this level at around about 90 cents has been pretty key if we breach that we certainly could be up 60 pips or so maybe a pause about halfway but that looks pretty positive for right now and one worth keeping an eye on over the coming hours trade safe and we'll see you again soon bye bye for now